everyone, I hope that I am in the shot. Otherwise, I guess this will never air. But anyway, I think I can figure out how to film recipes. So this is my first test video. I want to teach you guys something that I picked up. I can't remember what TV show I saw it on, on the Cooking Food Channel. But how to cut a bell pepper. And I've already been chopping tomatoes, so that's why it looks like something was killed on my cutting board. This sounds pretty self-explanatory, but for many, it is um, kind of a pain in the you-know-what. So I just wanted to I'm put that down. I am about to roast some vegetables for a pizza for dinner later this evening. And um, one of the things is a pepper. So obviously it's been washed. But I want to show you a quick tip on um, how I cut up my bell pepper. So sharp knife. Make sure it's sharp. It doesn't have to be quite this large, but I prefer mine. And all you do is, how do I describe this? You you, I don't do the flat side, I do this side. What I'm trying to do is cut away, sorry, I have an itch. <laughs> uh, cut away from the ribs without having to worry about deseeding. So I'm just gonna show you, it's easier to show you than explain. So just trim. And then once you cut it open, you can see where that white part is that you're trying to avoid. So then you just kind of shallowly cut along and you leave that intact and if you do it closely enough you don't have to worry about the seeds I don't know if you can see this I'll try that way you don't have to worry about the seeds because it's all there like so and now I've trimmed it all, and I don't have to worry. This will go in the garbage. And then I don't like going this way. I don't like cutting my bell peppers with the inside facing down. It slips and slides. <clears throat> that is a good way to slice fingers off. So I put skin side down, and then you just trim it how you want. Um, but anyway, I don't have to worry about... Um, and I'm going to make these pieces a little smaller. You don't have to worry about, actually I'm going to make them even smaller than that. You don't have to worry about deseeding it or getting, cutting the ribs, that inside white, I don't know what those are called, the ribs. You don't have to worry about that and um, it goes really quickly. So anyway, I hope that this was a fun tip for you if you didn't already know this and um, I will actually put a recipe in the description box. I don't know if it'll be the recipe for what I'm actually making, but you know what? Yes, it will be. It'll be roasted veg, hot roast veggies. So look in the description box for the explanation of what I'm doing, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.